go. Sweat Equity Podcast and Streaming Show, Pragmatic Entrepreneurial Advice, Sweet Dick Jokes. I'm your host, Lost Smith, sitting to my right, your left on the tube. We'll do it live. Eric Redinger. You did it. I did it. I'm going to share it. We're doing this Facebook Live, so you're going to see me sharing. Yeah. You're going to hear a double effect because I didn't turn off that. That's professional. I got to do it, man. I got to share it. Got to share it with the people. How about just do the ads? Let's do some ads. Grasshopper, try grasshopper.com we'll do it live. forward slash sweat like Keith Sweat. Get you 75 bones off an annual phone line. Try grasshopper.com forward slash sweat is the only place you can go to get $75 off an annual plan. I use it. Don't have a Google voice number. Don't have it go directly to your business when you're trying to have your, your business side hustle, your passion project, whatever it is. You got an Etsy store, you're selling turquoise jewelry in New Mexico. Fucking, you need a phone number too. You need to handle that customer service. Don't, Don't do that business either. As far <laughs> too many as there is. Oh man, turquoise jewelry with the ladies over 60. Fucking bomb. Try grasshopper.com forward slash so I get $75 off an annual plan. Who is doing that? No one's giving you that discount but us. Uh, ExpressVPN, try ExpressVPN.com forward slash sweat gets you three months free off an annual plan. Uh, try ExpressVPN.com forward slash sweat, like Keith Sweat, three months free off an annual plan. Get anonymized web surfing. Don't let everything track you. Don't let your history be known by all the ad. Look at the Not MarTech. That there's anything wrong with it. I showed fine. Eric the MarTech 5000 the other day. Look how many ad uh, data companies there are just tracking you at all times. It's mind blowing. Mm. Yeah, Google image that shit. No. And Warby Parker, WarbyParkerTrial.com forward slash sweat gets you five free pairs to try on at home. That's five free pairs to try on your fat head, your horse head. Everybody calls you a horsey head. Or maybe you have a little tiny head, a little weird, tiny, super maybe, tiny head. Maybe you got a tiny head. Maybe you got a big head. But WarbyParkerTrial.com forward slash sweat. Like Keith Sweat, it's going to let you find out what looks good on your horse head, on your pee head. You know, you might look like the little guy from the, the guys in Beetlejuice. Damn it. You knew where I was going. I knew what you were wow. Wow. We're in sync. Our periods must be in flow. What? And, uh,. For those listening that want to help out the show without spinning any ducats, that you can go to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, subscribe, rate, review, hashtag GirthyRI, hashtag 69B2B, hashtag Sweat Equity. You can share this podcast with someone that needs a little uh, business advice. Don't hit that dial just yet. And up top, added uh, value added. If you want to go to G2.com, I just did this the other day. I, took, I got a $25 gift card for doing a video review. Ooh. So, Got it the next day. I was very surprised. Did they take it back when they saw your face? Uh, no. Hey, yo. But I'm on their site, G2. Go to G2.com. They're not a sponsor, but you can do a $10 gift card on software you've used. You can do write it up. I did one yesterday. Or you can do for $25, you can do a video call like I did. Wow. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I didn't think I was going to get it. I yeah. thought it was going to be like, ooh, you got in a running for yeah, $25 gift card. Nope. G2.com. Not a sponsor of ours, but I was very impressed. Let's hit it. Let's get this podcast going. How about Johnny? my sweat equity? Sweat equity. Sweat, 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 sweat equity. My sweat equity. My, my, my sweat equity. Sweat equity. What about my sweat equity? What about it? I am, uh, I'm firing hot. Really? Um, yeah. Good. I, I've been in a good a good streak of meetings where I've come in and been like, do this, don't do this, do this. And it's like, they've been working out over a couple of weeks. Good. I need you to bring me up, baby. Oh yeah. Lift, you feeling low? Lift me up. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just, I just, uh, I'm in a, just a physical, Are you worried? mental rut. Oh yeah. What? So how do you get yeah. out of that normally? I don't know. I was hoping you were going to do it with your new meeting techniques. No, no. Oh, well shit. No, I'm in a good mood for doing stuff, but I'm saying, I don't, I don't know how to bring you up. Oh. <laughs> Good. Good. Thanks. No, I'm saying... Give me money. That would help. <laughs> I'm saying... Um, all right, so what... We've talked about this before. You've gotten out of ruts. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, what will... do you usually do? Do you do the Wim Hof breathing? Sure, but I mean, that's temporary. That's just a minute, you know? That's, that'll, that'll help with the overwhelming times you know okay but uh 
I mean, it's just life stuff that's dragging on, and it's just. I don't Are know. you mad, Bubba hasn't called you? A little bit, Bubba. Do you have that? Do you have your? I emailed uh, him today again. <laughs> I'm not stopping. I'm going to until you <laughs> oh say no. God. I what will keep coming. Yeah, I don't care. Do you? I mean, do you care? You do. No, I mean, I don't. I, I care about getting the job for sure. I just don't care about being rejected. So for those uninitiated. Um, you know, we went into Bubble the Love Sponge, Shock Jock Radio Legend in Tampa forever. And these, you know, 13 million listeners, terrestrial radio. Tons of listeners. Right Nationally now. syndicated. Um, a huge following on Twitch, like a million Twitch followers or something crazy. Yeah, they're the number Man. one tw- uh, radio uh, morning show on Twitch. Which I think is really cool because it's, it's very interactive. And I see YouTube making a move to kind of compete with that. Um, so... What's it called? Uh, I'm looking for the... Uh, you're looking for the I'm, audio? I'm looking for the audio. So I threw together all the times Bubba talked about wanting to hire me. <clears throat> Not only on the podcast that we did with him, but... So we went in We went in the radio I studio. I guess we didn't talk about that. We had Anna Hummel. Hummel. Oh. I, you know, her name's Hummel. We sh- they should have a segment called Pummel Hummel. Wow. Take that, take that with you. Because okay. they just pummeled her when we, 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 yeah. we went in there thinking we're going to get her shit pushed in like a uh, training day. A little bit, you know, the when the three guys are playing cards. Right. You ever had your shit pushed in? You know, I we th- didn't think it would be that bad, but. <laughs> I thought it'd be like that, you know, gun in the mouth over the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty intense. So it was good. It wasn't that bad. No, it was great. I thought, it, look, it went as bad as well as it could go for us. Yeah. I mean, they tried to chew on us for a second, got, got ADD and forgot about chewing on us. Yeah. It was, it was a great time. For an right? hour and 40 minutes. Right. Yeah. Um. Man, but this um, nicotine gum is like <laughs> get you popping off, huh? It, or is it, just... it hits your like back of your throat. Is that how it feels for you? Oh yeah. After a while, I just spit it out. It tastes gross. Oh really? It's just like yeah. I thought that's what makes it work. Probably this it's episode's probably it's brought working. to you by nicotine gum. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I when I took three of those, I was like, oh well, my don't god, don't do that. No, I won't. I do the dumb thing everybody does, where I go, well, I'm if, a badass. No, so... no, if if. Four espresso shots doesn't do it. Why not eight? Right, of course, yeah. But um, so it, so in my as we were on the podcast, Bubba says I don't know how many times that he was going to hire me to come in and and do some <laughs> video work and whatever. Now, mind you, um, the audio that I have also has clips of Bubba talking about inviting me in for a co-host contest that I did. Eight years ago, <laughs> when I had saved the audio, Bubba mm-hmm. loved me then. Talk about giving me an invitation who to come in. doesn't love you? Then. I'm going to do my, my mom, what my mom would they say. They ghosted me. Eric, who doesn't love you? So I threw together this little audio snippet of Bubba putting me over. Eric, this next one is uh, Eric, I think. Eric uh, Eric Redner. Uh, Eric, we, we like you, I think. Eric, I'm looking for a video guy. I know, man. I like him. <laughs> Eric Redner. You guys so want to start working for me? Eric, uh, you're going to have an invitation. You probably have to hire uh, Eric, but, but <laughs> fucking Eric makes it happen. You know, bits and pieces. An, a- an ancillary guy, you know. Yeah. At first. I just can't yeah. put you fucking... Yeah. I just can't fast track you to the top like I did Anna. Did I? I'm hiring Eric. Yeah. Let's remind me to fucking hi- not uh, hire Eric. I like him. And I think I hire Eric. I like him. And, uh, you know, I'm going to talk to Eric privately about maybe doing some video shit for us. And I like him. Why do you guys like to finish? I like him. Uh, unanimously, uh, everybody agree on Eric? Yeah. 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 Haven't hit me back up. Now so, we're... so since we've been in, it's been about, I don't know, it's been a couple weeks since we went in there. Um, and then... It's been <clears> almost <throat> two. And you've emailed Tomorrow. every day? <laughs> no, I've emailed five times. Five times, four or five times. Now, in a normal no response, in a normal workplace, that would be aggressive. But I'm I'm for it. I'm for it. I think it's good. They need me to go in there and answer emails for crying out loud. You need someone loud. to be aggressive in right. that place. Like, uh, yeah. What I liked about it is that it's its own like little world. It's its own like excuse me, like Marvel universe. It's a Bubba universe. You like oh yeah, burp on Bubba there. verse. Mm-hmm. Um. They need someone to kind of come in and, and be the hamburger helper. You can come in and be that big glove. I know. Mascot and go, let's shake some shit up. Yeah. I mean, I will do whatever they want. 
I'm trying to get across here. God. Now we can clip this clip out in a better way. Hey, here's a new clip. Yeah, here's a video <laughs> of me listening to the audio I made of us being on an audio podcast. From oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> um, so I think you're... I, I'm, I'm, I was saying you're probably driving yourself nuts. Driving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Duh. Like, it's just crazy. I mean, you heard the audio. Yeah. Seemed to like me then. Did you put a background music to that? Yeah. The, did you get, pick up on what the music was? It's something from the 80s or 90s. I can't. It's like, I don't know. It's one of those overplayed songs. That oh, yeah. A bunch of 90s movies. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. <laughs> yeah, from uh, look at me from Major League. I can be in that in Major center League? field. I don't know. Is it probably that, that seems I like would a very Major so. League song? <laughs> yeah, I, I, nobody picked up on it. That it was that song. Mm, yeah, that, I that, had to rip it. I had to, I had to oh rip my God. the karaoke version from so, iTunes, and this was after having to rip the audio of the podcast off of Twitch. How long did that take you to put together? Honestly. Not long at all. The the audio editing. See, he's long fast, long. Bubba. The thing that took forever was I had to let the the podcast play all the way through because you can't just you can't download video off of Twitch. You can rip it. There's sites. Yeah, that no you shit. Can That's what I did. Oh, uh, I'm saying I'm like I just I just let it play and then sent it like as though my laptop was pushing audio to mm, the mm, desktop mm -hmm. through Adobe Audition, just recording it. Which works, you know. It shows but, your prowess. Yeah. It shows your tenacity. Yeah. Not to mention, I guess, Blitz's email address. Oh, did you? Yeah. You figured well, it out? Well, I mean, they have... That's the producer of the show. Right. And he's the man that's, you know, need to get in good with. But I, I had gone on there. I don't think he's a fan of mine. I, I don't... I, no, I don't think he's a fan of mine either at okay. this point. I, I didn't know if he liked this at all, honestly. I, I, it's hard to tell, I think, with Blitz. But I didn't even know I didn't get to meet him before we went on air, and then we just heard this voice right. going over. It was like, "These guys are fucking yeah suck." And I was like, "Huh? Who is that?" <laughs> you didn't say that, did he? I don't know. I I didn't. It was just I like, didn't re-listen, but it was definitely like sniping, sniping yeah. some shit. And I was like, I didn't know there was another two guys in the booth. Right, but I mean, he wasn't. That's just what he does on the show regularly. Anyways, it wasn't like I didn't See, think he was coming I, after us at all. I didn't know really. you had this passion for the show, like. Oh, uh, it's been, you know, since high school, dude. Like, that's the gig. Kathy Ireland, Bubba the Love Sponge. There's two loves. Kathy Basically. Ireland. What are you talking about? I don't know. I was just trying, I'm trying to guess a 90s chick. <laughs> no. You love Necessary Roughness. No. When she, have you seen that movie where she, she goes kick to kick her. it, and literally they just, it was almost like they just quit on the, on the fucking film. They're just like, just let her take 80 steps before she kicks it, <laughs> and then we're just going to cut to the ball just going over yeah. the fucking goalpost. I got a lot of, away with a lot in the 80s and early 90s. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. So you feel good. What do you feel your chances are now? I can't imagine there being somebody better to hire than me going in there. I mean, that would blow my fucking mind if they hire, you know, some retread that they got. You know, my, we used to be on the show, but <laughs> my thing that I always hear about radio is that there's a lot of nepotism, like not yeah. actual nepotism, but there's people that are just in radio that just fucking hang out forever, yeah. and then that's how you get there. I'm really hoping because this is what I was feeling from Bubba that he's because he's Look, and we're gonna extrapolate this out to more of a business kind of getting hired thing. But go go ahead. I don't care. It's all about me. It's no, just no. That... I mean this this has something to do with the the motif of the podcast that we're running. Right? Sure. Um, this is about I, getting hired, but you, this is a unique industry. Look, this isn't like there's a LinkedIn job that's ever going to uh, offer that's going to appear out there, right? Yeah. So this, you have to get a little uh, uncouth Cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, you got to do some weird stuff. I say show up, show up with a sandwich board wearing nothing else underneath, <laughs> just like Die Hard Three. And where in same sign? I'm not there same, yet. If you don't throw the, that shit out there, because they're like, "Why don't you do what Law said you do? You do anything for the job?" I'm like, "Well, I didn't think." Oh. No, you can't go Die Hard three because you might die now. If you remember what he says on that sign, no, what you don't remember? Oh no, Samuel Jackson's like, uh, 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 uh. Oh well, it's an M bomb on there. Oh, <laughs> you don't remember? Thanks for the advice. It's very pressing. It's a joke. It was a joke. Yeah. Uh, mm. Mm. Look, we try. We try to. Look, they're not all dick jokes. Sometimes they're racial. I'm really just hoping Bubba's doing the Trump. I'm a radio genius. 
I'm gonna pull this guy, this nobody, uh-huh. out of nowhere because I see some talent and I'm gonna make him star sort of shit. That's what I'm hoping for. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look, you got to have a little it's not as though I grandeur did. Sure. Uh, when you're doing anything entertainment-based, right? It's just like uh, you heard his, his wheels turn, and he's like, I can't just fast-track you like you did on him. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean. Fast-track me where? Th- on the morning show? Are you serious, man? Look, man? I'm not even looking for that. It's all about ROI at the end of the day. You can come in there, and you could not only save them probably a lot of time, effort, so that's labor cost. To me, That's that's not only – Increasing ROI, what you could you could do by, you know, uh, building out a studio, renting that out, uh, probably finding different ad revenues, ad channels. You're not you're just you're an offline online. You can do both. Yeah, that's so fucking unusual. I know. And you're like a weird spider monkey. Like nothing nothing really affects you. <laughs> you said you had a migraine yesterday, and I was like, whoa, what's what's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, long day yesterday. Yeah, but, but uh, chasing rats. Around, yeah, but I'm saying always. that's a tough job. But I'm saying like you have a weird because you're so health conscious, wellness conscious. You don't get sick that often, and you have a weird spider monkey ability to uh, not get affected. Like I'll come in and bitch about you know being sore for five days in a row. Yeah, <clears throat> you can do the ice bath, dog. That's true. That's true. That once a week thing, man, helps big time. Well, uh, um, it'll keep the soreness away. So. Like, if you want to get hired in something that's a little different, you got to be a little different. There, there used to be guys that got hired. Um, so when I was, I was interviewing for Facebook in, like, 2011 in the ads department over in Austin, um, Austin, Massachusetts. And, uh, and so I heard a lot of people got hired by doing ad campaigns with them on it, targeting people at Facebook to hire them. First guy did it. He got the job, and then a lot of other people did it. Yeah. They, they, it didn't work out. The novelty kind of wore off. But yeah, uncouth idea, right? Yeah. A little crazy. Yeah. A little nutty, but not too nutty. It just showed that, hey, you want to hire me to do ads uh, or be an ad account manager or SMB, small, medium business, ad account person. I'm the I'm the person because I'm targeting you. Right. I'm I'm using your own system for you. Yeah. I mean, and that goes that audio clip I threw together. It's the same thing. It's the same thing they need me to do. Like, we should geofence so. the Bubba Army. Uh, we should use some of the ad tactics. We could geofence that building and just send ads there. Okay. With you on them. <laughs> All right. Uh, and use ad roll or something. Because if we get so they've clicked on our site, so we've got them tracked. Uh, I think on the Sweat Equity Pod. Oh yeah. We got you now, baby. Well, we definitely have a pixel on our site. Yeah. For those that don't know, Facebook pixel is the thing. If you're running Facebook ads and you have a website and you're not doing a Facebook pixel, you're fucking losing out. You're losing money. I'm looking at you right in the camera. You're losing money by not doing that. You should be doing it even if you're not running ads. Yeah. Well, explain what's happening. What? The ad pixel? With the the pixel. So the pixel, you put put this code in your site. It's, you know, when you're uh, on Amazon. And you're looking at stuff on Amazon, and then you're on Instagram, and suddenly that thing that you're looking at on Amazon's in your Instagram feed. Uh, it doesn't happen as much anymore, but um, for at least for me personally. But that's a called retargeting ad. And if you're not even running a campaign, you should always, ha- if you have a website, you should always have those codes in there the Facebook pixel, uh, your Google uh, ad targeting. Uh, what is it called? Google Tag Manager now. Um, you should in your Google Analytics. Those are three pieces of code you should always have in your site, no matter what. No if, ands, or buts. It doesn't matter if you're not running ad campaigns. You're setting yourself up for audiences in the future. The hard part of your website is getting people to the site. If you run a retail store, the hard part's getting them through the threshold of that doorway. Once you got them in your restaurant, your your fucking sneaker place, whatever, whatever you're doing. The hardest part in sales and marketing on a on a offline level is getting them through the doorway. Once you got them through the doorway, you're gonna close on them ninety percent of the time. Usually, or whatever your your hit rate is. Retail is gonna be a little different. You're gonna have some looky lose, but uh, rarely do you have a restaurant where people walk in, they look at the menu, and they walk out. Yeah, that happens a lot more in your bigger cities. Probably you know, your more walkable downtowns and stuff like that. But for the most part, if, if you're a destination place. You got people to your office. Yeah, lawyers, I talk about this all the time with them because that's kind of a little bit of a niche of mine was working with law firms, small law firms. 
hey, they're calling you. What's your close rate? They're like 95%. I'm like, yeah, because they're not shopping elsewhere. Right. Right? Yeah, nobody is enjoying that. So for us, you can use that tactics. that We got them to our site. Now we use that pixel, and we can <laughs> make funny ads, a low spin. Uh, I, I don't know offhand the geo-targeting app I'd use, but uh, I'm a little rusty in that department. I have to look it up. But uh, yeah. there is there is one to use. I, I forget. But you can literally... Uh, like Google Map, yeah. Uh, make it like a little square around the building. Yeah. Okay. And then once you, Do it. and then we'll once film you got, it after the podcast, we'll record something. It'll be fun. No, you don't. You all, all you need is a picture of you like this. Hire me. Okay. <laughs> just like, huh? Yeah. Remember me. And just put Eric on yeah. top of it. Big bold. Yeah, that's actually a good call. If I have my banner snack account still alive, we can do the displays in there. But you're quick. You can do them. Yeah. You can do a 300 by 300, a 250 by 250, a 720 by 90. Those are pixel sizes, ladies and gentlemen. This nicotine gum is killing it. What? Yeah. Um, those display ads you see everywhere, when you're reading a Wall Street Journal, New York Times, and you see like the little square, and those ads are following you there, that's what we're talking about. Yes. Right. So. Um, now I'm thinking, that's all I can think about now. But it's all about ROI at the end of the day. You're coming in, you're going, hey, I'm going to make you more money. I'm going to save you money. So your profit margin will go up, right. the bottom line. Yeah. With adding me on. Yeah. Definitely that, added to at least what you were paying the person before. In a small business and you, you're you wanting to work somewhere, that's what you have to prove. You have to go, look, I'm going to come in. I'm going to I'm gonna do a lot of shit. But at the end of the day, your bottom line, because that's all people care about when they own a business, what's your bottom line? My bottom line is that, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you more money. I'm going to – sometimes you can lower costs. Not everybody can do that. But I bet you, I could. I you, bet you, I could. You probably can because you'll, you'll look at a lot of the labor uh, if you can get in those systems. It's hard to, it's hard to kind of come in if you're not getting hired to do processes to come in and go – Right. I'm gonna change all that shit up. No, yeah, I don't. I don't want to walk in there with any sort of you know agenda where it's, it's like, hey, what do you need from me? But you know, a lot of the times with places like that, things get so locked into wh- how they're normally done. You know, they just kind of go to the wayside, and you've got these things that just are five steps too many. You know, where it's like somebody yeah. coming in there could maybe because again. Help out. That it feels like the vibe. I don't know. I definitely don't know for sure. But the vibe that I get from the place after kind of watching them before we went on, a little bit after we went on, is um, you know it's a little bit insular. It's it's a little bit cocooned from other. They're not. That's the thing with uh, a lot of small businesses too. You can get caught in doing your own ways and not bring any outside knowledge in. And yeah, you didn't know that there's a way to do this. Quickly. Yeah. Plus, they're, you know. My church didn't know they could live stream a year ago. And I was like, get this Mevo camera. They got it. And God, you're going to heaven, dude. I know, right? Straight to heaven. I know. For all the terrible things I say, I told my pastors that. I go, you know what I mean? I do, I'm helping you guys out because I say a lot of terrible shit. And yeah. And they're like, no, no, we've heard your act. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We, we, uh, we've heard, we haven't seen it, but we've heard about it secondhand. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't sound great. Uh, well. Been writing jokes lately, feeling good. Feel feel back to normal, normal crazy manic. Uh, uh, God, yeah, yeah. You're way past where I'm at, though. Farts. Well, get some of this. I'll uh, let me spit in something. You can drink that up. Okay. I'll spit in your I'll mouth. Try I'll anything. baby bird it. All right, do it. What's what? So, what are you feeling out of it? Just. Uh, it just you know, um, sort of. You don't not have, knowing you don't what to do. Anything. I mean, it's just. I mean, it, it's pretty. It's just nerve wracking. Yeah. When you. Oh, you're putting all your eggs in that basket, waiting around for it. Well, I mean, or or not necessarily. No. Um, but this is the job you want. But it's literally my dream job. Yeah. Like not even this was. I've said it years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just like oh, we're working radio. It's like no, I work for that guy. Like that guy's legit. Like one of the top four or five personalities ever. Yeah, do we figure out how old he is? It's like 52. God damn, really? Yeah. God, he's been doing it. Feel, he's been like on the air since he's probably like 18 or something. Uh, no, I don't think it's that young, but not much. 
not much past. I think he's he went, been relevant. He went to college for a little while. What? Indiana State. Oh yeah, yeah. fighting. Uh, I know Larry this. Birds. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, my best friend's dad went to Indiana State. Uh, not cool. that that matters. Shout out to Mr. Funk, Doctor Funk, I should say. Um, what? Uh, so it's it's kind of dress for the job you want kind of deal a little bit. Mm-hmm. You're kind of showing the skills you got oh. to get the job you want. Yeah. And being persistent, and you're always in that world. It you know what it's like. It's like uh, trying to go after a chick, and you're like, there's a real thin line between stalker. Sure. And, and like, persistent. Yeah. I, I, where, I'm i not even concerning that? about the stalker side. It's like... Yeah, because what does it matter? Right. What are they going to say now? You're back to normal no? anyway. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, well, I don't have it anyways now, so... Right. Cool. Right. Nothing It's changes. just your one shot at that ever. Yeah. <laughs> just no one pressure. shot at my dream job ever. <laughs> Doesn't happen. Added on to everything else going on in my life. Should be a good week. <sighs> You got a good guard dog, golden retriever out there. He's fucking killing it. Yeah. Yeah. You guys love to take me out in the woods. Um, have you done any ice baths? You've done all these things that knock you out of your uh, your drudgery. Uh, well, I mean, I'm doing it once a week. I need to do one uh, today. I don't remember the last time I did one. But again, I, I was in a meeting last night <clears throat> um, and yesterday, two yesterday, one today. It's just like everything's about ROI when you're you're trying to come in and – and add a lot of value. Like you just have to add value and you have to come in and go uh, and just remind them, I I keep this in mind, the bottom line, I want this gig. Because I, I was thinking about it while I'm, I've been going after some business lately and it's like I'm telling them, I'm trying to remind them too, my whole mindset is to make them money as, as a marketing consultant, as an advisor. Yeah. I mean for us, uh, the idea for us would be we take all this stuff – and we put it at the BRN. Sure. You and I have a new studio. We start renting it out again. We get that going. Boom, there's your... I, I'd like to think I'd be able to pay for my own salary there with that. Cause just, I mean, how many leads do we have to have to turn down for podcast rentals? Yeah, and we were maxed out. I mean, we were also running an agency. Yeah, I mean, well, <laughs> so we, even... We were, you wouldn't even have that that part to have to deal with. Oh yeah, I know. I but mean, you could it, also do that shit on the side too. Right. But it was just like so many people are on the podcast tip in terms of like doing it for marketing material and all that, that we always talk about. Man, there's so many people. So I get hit up a lot. Hey, I'm going to start a podcast. Um, I'm only doing it for business leads. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, good, good, dude, fine. Good. That's Made that a marketing want. arm to you. Fine. Great. Can yeah. you, can you gab? <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. You better figure that out. And then they stop. That's where they stop because they can't. They go, ooh, <laughs> it's not going to be great. It's not going to be perfect. I'm like, just fucking start it. Just go. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Like, there's no need. To, it, lots of people think, oh, I got to edit. the. I got to get it, all the uh, ums and uh, uh, ahs and silences no. out. It's no, like, we no. Start, no. People want Nobody authentic. wants that. Nobody's like, oh, I can't believe you said um again. <laughs> right. It's a conversation. You don't say that to somebody's face when they say it in real life. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, well, it's breaking the, the silence. is so overwhelmingly awkward. I can't just take it. It's like, well. it's like uh, the need for real talk, which what podcasts are. It, I like those um and ahs. I like listening when they're, I'm listening to podcasts of you know, notable comedians and they're like – their kids walk in. They're like, "Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> well, I mean, just you to know, see... like I, I just think that's uh, that. I don't like this polished shit. Like, yeah. I don't like. I, I I listen to podcasts obsessively now. I rarely like watch TV. You know, like I have it on the background just so I don't feel lonely. <laughs> no, but I, I feel, get that. I no, I do feel like ha- I do have the TV on. Uh, uh, something live. I'll put on the news now a little bit, but I don't listen. I don't really watch it. It just feels like there's something going on. <laughs> feels like you have a friend. Well, I'm doing so many indoor cat things from my place, working from home. I feel like a lot of people are like that. I think a lot of people are gravitating towards podcasts because they ran out of shit to watch. Well, I mean, the boys is great. By the way, watch Thor. Uh, I couldn't sleep last night. I was so jacked up on my marketing consulting prowess. Marketing boner. Oh, dude. I'm like, I am Don Draper. I'm back to yelling that to myself. <laughs> I'm like, Pinterest, man. Let's fucking crush it on Pinterest to everybody. Let's do it. LinkedIn. Yeah. Ugh! 
Give it to me! You're still talking about watching something. Oh, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, one of my faves. I think it's one of the, be the best. Might be the best Marvel movie. I think it is the best Marvel it, movie. It's got our 80s. We kind of like that 80s synth in there. Yeah, oh, it's great. And guess who's... Chef Goldblum. <laughs> yeah, but guess who's... Uh, guess our boy from The Boys is... Uh, oh, yeah. Is Scourge. Yeah. And I was like, who is it? Oh, you didn't oh, recognize fuck. him, yeah? I don't know, because he's got a shaved head. Yeah. He's, and he, he's in that bulky stuff. But he eats up all, all the scenes, too. He's very... He's, he's great. Carl Urban, I yeah, think's his name. Yeah. his name. Yeah, so... Um, but I was just watching that, and I was just like, ooh, that is the best... That's the best one of those. Definitely. That's a side note. Um, what else we got? Uh, that thing of... Um, I want to circle back to that G2 to give some kind of advice other than, you know, <laughs> be a stalker for the job you want. Yeah. Um, Look, if you're if you're trying hey. to go for a job that's a small business, you have to you have to look at it this way. You have to have the empathy of the owner, which is usually the person hiring, right? I'm talking a small business, maybe micro nano, because depending on how you describe small to medium business, let's say local micro nano, let's say under ten employees, uh, maybe under twenty employees, um, maybe doing a hundred thou to Two million revenue a year. Let's let's declare it that a small business. Okay, sure. Every what people think is a small business is wild. Yeah, a- Amex is like small business Saturday. We're all about it, and I'm like, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, Amex. You fucking as a small people. business, American Express feels the need to help other small businesses. We're gonna dedicate one Saturday, <laughs> and we're gonna call it Small Business Saturday. Fuck you, Amex. Uh, you don't do shit. You fucking you make worse financial things for for. For a lot of businesses, yeah, they pretty much all do. Uh, yeah, but you could there's a you can go way back in the archives to Ed Keels. He'll t- he'll drop some financial knowledge on you. Mm. Um, yeah, we need to get Ed back on. Uh, yes, but I'm saying like if you're trying to get hired a small business, usually the owner is the hiring person, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So they're not thinking about you. You're thinking about them. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that's how it always goes, yeah. and, and you're always like. The worst is the follow-up email and no, and no nothing back. The worst is sending those emails. If you're a baller, you send a handwritten thank you card. Yeah. Where was that advice? I guess <laughs> I've I still said could. it for three years. I can, uh, I can do a paper airplane over the fence. You can still do it. There's still time. That The handwritten thank you card goes a long goddamn way nowadays because think of all the shit you get in your mail. Hmm. Retail me not garbage or whatever. Well, they do the thing with the the, the fake printed handwriting uh, address thing. They do that if you need five hundred or more done because uh, holiday season's coming up. There is a robot arm that will imitate your handwriting. Yeah, that shit's insane though. It's so expensive. Is it? And I think it's like like twenty bucks a pop or something. It's crazy. It's got to be cheaper now. I well, mean, I don't know. We looked at it like three or four years ago. Yeah, maybe. It, it's pretty dope because why is that different than getting it printed on a card? It's gonna actually put ink to paper, mm-hmm. and it's not gonna fuck up because I forget how to write stuff formally, <laughs> and I'm like scratching shit out and I'm just like, fuck to throw this thing out. Um, oh, weird. Lost our camera. Uh oh! Well, right on time, baby. <laughs> oh, it's just me. It's yeah, just you it's just and me. You. All right. Well, we're. I mean, me. we're closing this thing out. Yeah. Let's oh, wrap it up then. No, uh, I, we just don't have the other one. Well, if you're trying to get hired for a small business, twenty employees or under, let's 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 call it that. Uh, you gotta be. Sometimes you gotta be a little bit different to get in. Oh yeah. Yeah, you saw it. Yeah, Ooh, I caught it quick though. Yeah, man, you are a fucking spider monkey. Pew. Uh, you got to be on top of it. It's, it's, if it's the job you really want that they don't really have an opening for necessarily, like what you're going for, because it's not like they're like, we have... A, oh, yes, they do have an opening. They have a grunt opening, but yeah, they didn't but have a video. They, he was they, doing the same thing. They didn't thing. have a 14-inch Swiss Army knife <laughs> yeah. job opening. That might have not gotten you hired. That bad dick joke. It wasn't a fucking <laughs> dick joke. <laughs> yeah, that's the real reason it's embarrassing. It's like I wouldn't write a joke like that to be so. Could have been me drunk coming in there and writing some copy. I wrote website. it, but it wasn't meant to be a dick joke. Obviously, everybody has their tell m- me how it's mind not a dick joke. I was if you go on sweatequitypod dot com. I was describing all the Eric's. different things I do, and that uh, it could be referred to as a Swiss Army knife, but that Army knife would have to be fourteen inches long because of all the different things I do. 
That's just a <laughs> stupid ass copy that is being turned into you, a dick joke. You don't see that. They brought it up on the show for anybody wondering. And you don't see that as a dick joke? Our logo's a dick tie. If I wrote it <laughs> and it wasn't meant to be a dick joke, yeah. how's that not the but end we, of it? We Fine, you guys want to make it a dick joke? That is the worst dick joke ever. Barbinchuance. 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 And barbiturates. Whatever. And opioids and mushrooms and all the copious amounts of quaaludes that we were on writing all that copy. Right. You know? That we're always on. This is a comedy podcast, guys. I'm just saying uh, it's on brand with our website. Sure. I it's I'm very honest. It's not as though I would ever like be like Do you have a hog? I've never seen it. It's a joke. Maybe but you it's ha- a maybe you got a hog. I don't know. I do okay. Oh boy. Oh really? Wow, just throws it out there. It's always the wiry guys that got him. Um, yeah. Never never the thick thigh boys I think. <laughs> Squeezing all the life out of it. Looks like a bush between two redwoods when it's uh, not two, not two too messy. Yeah, with two dicks. No, I got two huge legs, and it looks like just a fucking. Oh, the little, red. The, little your bush. legs are the redwoods. I don't. I haven't shaved in a while. Okay. Um, this has been <laughs> yes. an episode. Yes. Of sweat equity pod. What about the my sweat equity? Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. My sweat equity. My sweat equity. My sweat equity.